In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to set up and operate the 975 roll groover in conjunction with the 300 compact machine. In order to set the groover up on the 300 compact machine, we are going to, you are going to need to purchase an adapter kit for it. The adapter kit is going to include an adapter bracket as well as a drive bar adapter in order to run it on the 300 compact. The first step of the process is going to be to attach your drive bar adapter onto the drive shaft of the 975 roll groover. You want to take care in making sure that the set screws on it align themselves with the flats on the drive shaft itself. So we are going to slide that right over, making sure that they're aligned. Grab my screwdriver. Position those set screws in place. And now we are set to mount this to the 300 compact, which in the next portion of this video, we will show you the mounting procedure. Thank you. In this video, we're going to go over how to mount the 975 to your 300 compact through the use of an adapter kit, which is available as an accessory with the 975. First thing you're going to want to do, make sure that your machine is in the off position and that it is unplugged from the wall. The next step that you're going to accomplish is you're going to put your tools in the up position and away from where you're operating your 975 roll groover. Next thing you're going to do is slide the carriage all as far back as you can towards the chuck of the machine itself. Now we're actually ready to mount the adapter bracket onto the carriage arms of the 300 compact. Your adapter bracket has two different slots on it for mounting to the carriage arms. You're going to need to slide the far carriage arm on first, then drop this one down. Okay? So we are going to slide that one on. We're going to drop that, that bracket down. Now, if you look underneath, there is actually a pin to lock that bracket into place. We're going to put that in. Now the bracket is mounted to the machine itself. Now we're ready to actually put the 975 roll groover onto the machine. What you're going to do is set your support arms onto the bracket arms themselves. You've got your adapter shaft on it, which now you're going to center and close your chuck jaws down until you make contact with it. Give it a couple good hammers to make sure that it is locked in position. Now your 975 is ready to operate. Now that we have our 975 properly mounted to the 300 compact, now we're going to continue the process of installing the pipe on the groover and grooving the piece of pipe. Uh, once again, as we mentioned before, we want to make sure that the machine is in the off position and the cord is unplugged from the wall socket at this point. We are going to take our pipe, and since it's, this is a little bit of a longer piece of pipe, we are going to use our pipe stand on it to support that pipe. Now what we're going to end up doing is tightening our feed screw down until we just pinch into that pipe and make it hand tight. At this point in time, a critical step that you need to take in, into account is to make sure that your pipe is level with your machine. If it is not level, you're going to run into possible tracking problems or having it spiral out of the roll groover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a level on, that, on your adapter shaft. Then you're going to transfer that level to your pipe, again, coinciding with each other. So we're going to raise this up a little bit to make it level with the machine. Now once you're satisfied with that, you want to make sure that your pipe end is flushed all the way up against the cover plate of your roll groover. Now that it's hand tight, we're going to loosen your depth adjustment knob. We're going to slide the step gauge scale on there for the 2 inch schedule 40 pipe that we're going to roll groove. We're going to run that down until it touches the step. Now we're going to slide the step gauge over to where it says grooving position. 
At this point, we are ready to groove. We will have to put our half inch drive ratchet into your feed screw. And what we're going to do is make sure that we are going to give it about a quarter of a turn to start. And that's just putting pressure and biting onto the pipe. Now we're going to plug the machine in. And just as we did with the 300 power drive, we are actually going to put our switch into reverse because that is the proper way to run the 975 is in reverse. Now we're going to proceed with grooving the pipe until your depth adjustment knob bottoms out on the top of the housing of the 975. Again, you're, you're applying about a quarter turn of pressure for every rotation of pipe. And once that bottoms out, you want to let that pipe run two rotations on there to clean up any hard spots. Now we have our grooved end piece of pipe. 